get enough of the retro old school music for Saturday Night Main Event, my man. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it's so gets me good. tingling. So like good. Only LA Night can normally. Yeah, we got celebrities here in Ontario ringside. Wow. Mark Sanchez is sitting ringside loving this. The oh. Sanchez, that is Michael Cole's favorite ever Jets QB. Adam Jones, the lead guitarist for the band Tool. You're a good guitarist. I'm not a good Jensen. guitarist. Adam Jones is a very, very good guitarist. Don't put me in the same category as Adam Jones and Tool. Come on. And the Scottish Warrior has arrived. Just a week and a half away from Hell in a Cell against CM Punk. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Drew McIntyre! Remember, Drew thought he had his chief rival CM Punk finished with an attack a few weeks ago. But Punk returned last week. And Wade, let's take everybody back to that place. I promise that you are going to have to kill me. Because I am prepared to die. I am prepared for this heart to stop beating. I am prepared for all of this to be over with. I'm prepared for this to be the end of CM Punk. And if you're prepared for this to be the end of Drew McIntyre, then I'll see you in hell. Significant weight to those words, Wade. Two men are going to hell. Hell in a cell at Bad Blood in less than two weeks' time. It's the most heated rivalry we've had in years. McIntyre versus Punk. Win or lose, both men will be permanently changed by what's going to happen in Hell in a Cell. I promise I'm going to make you bleed. I promise you're going to have to kill me. I'm prepared for this to be the end of CM Punk if you're prepared for this to be the end of Drew McIntyre. I've been thinking about Punk's words all week and not just the words, the look in his eyes, he meant every single word. For once you were real, you were truthful, punk. You're ready to sacrifice it all for this to end, and so am I. I've always told the truth. I've always been honest, especially when it comes to punk, but usually I keep the personal stuff to myself because I'm fighting a greater cause. But I'm gonna put it out there. You wanna put it out there, punk? I'll put it all out there. I do not wanna go back inside Hell in a Cell. I've been in that match more than once and it's broke things in me that haven't been fixed to this day. Your sisters begged you not to do this match. Your wife begged you not to do this match. My family's begged me not to do this match. They know it's gone too far. My wife has begged me for months to get away from you because she can see what this is doing to her husband mentally. <laughs> 
It doesn't matter what you all think. It doesn't matter what our families think. It doesn't matter what we think. This match is going to happen at Bad Blood. And I have some promises of my own. I promise I am going to make you bleed a lot. I promise I am going to make you suffer and feel more pain than you have ever felt in your entire existence. It's appropriate you compared yourself to the devil again last week because this has always been good versus evil, hasn't it? And of course, you compare yourself to a supernatural being. You've always seen yourself as a godlike figure, but you're just a man. A man that I've broken so easily in the past. And a man that I will break permanently inside Hell in a Cell. There is almost a funereal feeling about McIntyre and CM Punk as we close in on Bad Blood and their meeting at Hell in a Cell, Joe. Let's go backstage for our ace reporter Jackie Redman and general manager Adam Pierce.